Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine with Cindy. And by the way, happy Halloween day. You know, Paul talks about the armor of God, and this week I am talking and labeling each armor of God each day and trying to explain to you what it's for, how does it work in your life, and what evolves around that, that armor of God that we put on that Paul talks about. So in Ephesians 6, 13, this is what Paul says. He says, therefore, take up the armor of God. You see, he's not asking us to take up one piece of the armor, your sword or your helmet. He's saying take up the whole armor of God. That means you put everything on every morning when you get dressed. You never take it off. You go to bed with it, you sleep with it, you rise with it. Your spiritual warfare weaponry is the, is the armor of God and we are always supposed to keep it on. That's why Paul gave it to us. He's explaining that you know there's something out there and this is what's going to help you fight that evil force. And then he says, the next thing is he says is why he explains why we're supposed to pick up the armor of God. And he says that you may be able to withstand the attacks of the devil. You see, this is why we wear the armor to defend ourselves against the attacks of the devil. And he says, and having done all, stand. When you picked up the armor of God, he says, stand. He's not asking you to slash the devil, beat the devil, fight the devil. He's asking you to put on your armor and stand. And then in verse 14, he says the same thing. He says, stand firm. So it's amazing that he's stressing the point, put your armor on and start standing. And this is very, very important. And he says, and then with the belt, gird yourself with the belt of truth. So let me explain what the belt of truth is. You know, back in the days when the armor was being, when the Roman soldiers had the armor, they would take a, um, a cloth or a leather and gird it around their loins. And it reminds me a lot of spandex. You know, back in my day, we would call it a girdle. Remember the girdles? But now they've got spandex and spandex pulls and you're stretching and you're pulling that spandex up and you're tucking in every belly fat. We're tucking in every roll and I'm tucking in every bulge so that nobody can see because when I put on that pretty little slinky dress that I don't have to see those bulges in those rolls. Spandex holds everything up and holds it together. And that's what the belt of truth is. You see, the belt of truth is something that holds all the armor together. Without standing on the truth, you don't have a foundation. Without standing on the word of God, you don't have the rock under which you stand on. Because the truth is what holds your entire life together in, Christian, in, in Christianity. You see, we don't have a lot of truth in the world. And we never know what, what they're going to say on TV. But we have a truth we live by, we believe in. That's your foundation to stand. Because when the devil comes and tells you, you're going to be worried and fear and going to anxiety. You're going you're gonna to be so upset, you're not going to be able to eat, you're not going to be able to sleep. That's when you stand firm and you tell the devil, no, I have the peace of God. I don't have any fear. In 1 Timothy, God says, I did not give you the spirit of fear, but of sound mind and of love. So don't let the devil beat you up with all your emotions. You stand firm on what your armor is, the belt of truth that wraps around you, that holds you together, and the truth of God's word and his promises that he has given us. Stand on that and stand firm. Let me just pray for you. If Satan has come against you and you need some extra prayer for these days that we're going ahead for the holidays and too busy and, and all this stuff going on, let me pray for you. Lord God, in Jesus' name, I know that the truth of God's word says that you have given me peace. Not as the world, world gives, but you have given me supernatural peace. So Lord, I claim that peace. I want to live in that peace. And I want you to know, believers, that peace is not the absence of circumstances. It's not the absence of life's problems. It's the presence of God in your life. So Lord God, I thank you that your presence covers me up. It holds me up. It bears me up. The truth is I am in Christ and Christ is in me. I am strong in the Lord and the power of his might. I thank everybody today. Go out and make it a great rise and shine day. Have a good one and we'll see you tomorrow for the next belt. I mean for the next armor of God.